So do you have a Ryobi BT3000, BT3100, a Sears Craftsman 22811 or 21829, and do you have a problem with the rear fence clamper and you need a new one? Well, I came across these on eBay. They were actually, I was clued into them by uh, fellow members at sawdustzone.org. And, uh, well, I bought one. And uh, they were kind enough to send me a spare to show you how to assemble them. So let's get to it. What you're going to need is the rear fence clamper bracket, the clamper lever. Now this came with the kit. Um, if you order just the bracket though, uh, you're going to have to strip the old one off your uh, original. Or the uh, seller I believe offers these. They have these upgraded aluminum rollers instead of the plastic one. Kit comes with the drift pin for the lever. And I asked him about these, and he sent them along to me. These are the axle pins for the roller. So first thing we got to do is get the roller wheel in. And I'm going to line up the hole. And the fun part is lining that hole up. Okay, so I've got it lined up. Now I've got to support this thing and drive that pin in. Now to drive the pin... I'm going to use a flat-ended punch and just drive it down. Unfortunately, I can't really support that. Well, let me see if I can do this. The camera may bounce around, so bear with me. We're supported on the bench. The wheel is just proud of the bottom. You know, the roller is just proud of the bottom of the uh, bracket. And I'm just going to take this punch. I'm going to pull the camera back a little bit. Hmm. Trying to get the best angle I can on it and still be able to drive this. We're just going to... Okay, well you see what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take this punch and drive it down. The camera's kind of in the way, so I'll be back as soon as I'm done driving it in. Okay, I scratched it up a little bit, but that's okay. Drove it home, and the wheel will contain it. Now, if you have a plastic wheel, and that's the big problem, these plastic wheels, the center wallows out, and it won't hold pin anymore. So you really need the new steel pin and, and uh, aluminum wheel. Unlike the wheel though, you can just hammer it straight in. I, uh, again, the camera's in the way, so, uh, but we're just gonna drive this through until this pin is all the way through. Don't come out the other side, but get as close as you can. The roll pin is in. Now you can drive that roll pin to be a little more centered. Probably not a bad idea. I think I'm going to do that. You see we're in here. 
We've got a little bit of a recess on both sides, but we're roughly equidistant. I'm not going to measure that with a mic or anything. It's not that critical. But everything is captured in here. It's all straight. Next thing you've got to do is uh, when you have your original one off, you uh, have to drill the holes for these screws on your fence. You got to drill them out. You got to open them up to a quarter inch. Uh, these screws are bigger than the factory ones, but uh, just, uh, yeah, drill it out for the quarter inch screws. Line your push rod up. Install it. Bolt it down. Set your uh, depth on the uh, adjustment screw here. And uh, you've got a much better than original uh, clamper bracket. I'd personally like to thank NoTech One for sending me the uh, spare to uh, assemble so I could get it on video. Um, I now actually have two spares. I have the original one that uh, has my original uh, clamper on it. It's just the bracket and wheel uh, got changed out. And, uh, well, he sent me the spare to put together, and there was another one that he uh, he sent me that was a complete one. I made a boo-boo in ordering. But we made, we made it all right. Um, I'm going to give two of these away. Uh, I'm going to do them. I haven't figured out exactly how I'm going to do it, but uh, it's going to be a promotion uh, for uh, Sawdust Zone. Um, so, yeah, if you're not a member at sawdustzone.org, go in, check us out, read up on uh, what we're talking about, and definitely, if you've got these saws, definitely participate, even if you don't. We talk about a lot of woodworking stuff there, so... It's a great forum, bunch of really good people. I think you'll enjoy it. Anyway, again, an extra special thank you to No Tech One, N O T E C K One, on eBay. He really went above and beyond and helped us out a lot. So I thank you very much. You have a great day.